One circumstance that arouses our unbroken fascination for the universe is the fact that we are still far from having deciphered all the mysteries of the cosmos. New objects, phenomena, and spectacles are regularly discovered in space, impressively demonstrating to us how many undiscovered mysteries are still waiting to be tracked down and unraveled. Among them is an exciting discovery that astronomers recently announced. It seems the experts might have stumbled upon a hitherto completely unknown class of stars. Find out what we've learned so far about this groundbreaking find and which recent discovery also made headlines in today's video. Excited about groundbreaking finds and distinctive spectacles in space? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space for regular updates on these exciting topics. Show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. A vibrant discovery. What's really going on with the mysterious object that emits a radio wave beam that pulses every 20 minutes? This is the question that experts have been grappling with since they first registered the ominous signal at the beginning of 2018. What is particularly puzzling is that while the corresponding radio waves appeared over a period of three months, they abruptly stopped shortly thereafter. Consequently, astronomers were confronted with a phenomenon they had never encountered before. Although the signal has an unusual nature, the team of experts, led by Dr. Natasha Hurley-Walker of the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research, does not believe it has an artificial origin. Rather, the researchers believe that the source is most likely a natural, rotating celestial body and not the signature of an extraterrestrial civilization. The scientists came to this conclusion after examining the pulsating signal in detail. In detail, it was one of the strongest radio sources in the entire sky, detectable over a broad frequency spectrum. Conversely, this broad frequency spectrum means that an immense amount of energy, virtually impossible to expend, would have been required to artificially generate the signal. A new class of stars? In detail, the scientific object of desire is located about 4,000 light years from our blue home planet. The characteristics exhibited by the mysterious structure are consistent with a class of objects predicted by astronomers, the so-called ultra-long period magnetars. This refers to a class of neutron stars that possess the strongest magnetic field of any known celestial body in the cosmos. Typical for this class of stars, which so far exists only in theory, is that they rotate extremely slowly around their own axis. In the run-up to their discovery, scientists had considered it impossible to directly observe a representative of this neutron star class. The researchers had not expected the objects to be so bright. A neutron star is the dense remnant of a supermassive star that remains when the outer layers of the celestial body are ejected in a supernova. Neutron stars are known for their breathtaking rotational speeds. Representatives of this class, which rotate particularly rapidly around their own axis, are called pulsars. Those pulsars with an extremely intense magnetic field are called magnetars. Young pulsars exhibit proper motions that reach peak speeds of more than 600 miles per second. If the Earth is in the radiation field of a pulsar, its regularly recurring signals can be detected relatively easily. Because of this characteristic, which is reminiscent of a ship perceiving the flashing light on the coast, pulsars are also called the lighthouses of the universe. Open Questions But in the case of neutron stars, their lifetime is limited. Over time, the celestial bodies lose more and more energy, and in the same breath, their insane rotational speed declines. As soon as the objects slow down, one would expect them to fade visibly. If neutron stars fall below the theoretical calculation, which experts call the death line, they should no longer be visible from Earth. All the more understandable, therefore, is the great amazement that spread among the ranks of scientists with the breathtaking discovery. If it really is an ultra-long period magnetar, it would still radiate enough energy to be detectable despite all scientific predictions. It appears that the object converts magnetic energy into radio waves far more effectively than any other structure explored to date. Beyond this exciting background, there is another central question to be answered. Why did the pulsating signal disappear again after three months? One of the researchers' explanations is based on the fact that the detonated signals were associated with a one-time event. It's conceivable that this was a so-called starquake. 
During such events, the outer layer of the incomparably dense neutron star undergoes a sudden adjustment, accompanied by a tremendous outpouring of energy into the surrounding space. It's possible that the repeating radio waves were also created by such an event. A red-hot exoplanet Since exoplanet WASP-121b was added to the star charts in 2015, the celestial body 850 light-years away from us has repeatedly become the focus of scientific interest. As a so-called hot Jupiter, the object has a mass that exceeds that of the largest member of our home planetary system by 1.18 times. WASP-121b orbits so closely around its host star that the thermometer reaches 2,730 degrees Fahrenheit on its night side. In fact, not even two days pass before the celestial body has completely orbited its parent star. The total average temperature of the planet is again estimated at a value of a scorching hot 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Under such extreme conditions, metals become gaseous and even molecules are torn apart. The question of what effects these inhospitable conditions have on the weather patterns on hot Jupiters has long been one of the central aspects of scientists' research. Now for the first time, a team of experts from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy have succeeded in drawing a revealing picture of weather phenomena on such cosmic embers. Since WASP-121b has a bound rotation, which means that it always faces one and the same side of its star, it was important for the researchers to look at the entire surface of the planet. This task, however, was accomplished by analyzing spectra provided by the Hubble Space Telescope. In this way, the researchers were able to determine the detailed nature of the upper atmosphere and its temperatures on both the night and day sides of the exoplanet. In the course of this project, the experts became aware for the first time of how the atmosphere of a hot Jupiter functions as a holistic system. Gem Showers and Thunderous Storms the scientists' large-scale study revealed that temperatures on the day side of the celestial body are high enough to cause metals to vaporize and water molecules to rupture. The temperature values on the opposite region in turn enable a process in which calcium, magnesium, and iron condense out. In other words, the corresponding substances form hot drops, which sometimes fall as rain. But this is not the only unusual weather phenomenon on WASP-121b. Minerals such as forsterite and corundum also condense there and form scorching hot droplets. Corundum, however, is the very mineral that makes up precious sapphires and rubies. You might say it rains on this hot Jupiter as liquefied precious stones. From the observations of the experts, it also emerged that the water molecules that are torn apart on the day side reunite on the cooler night side in the form of water vapor. The enormous temperature gradient between the two planetary regions also leads to another extreme phenomenon. Violent storms rolling over the celestial body at a speed of up to 12,000 miles per hour. That corresponds to a speed of three miles per second. In fact, these breathtakingly fast winds are suspected of hurling the liquefied gemstone and metal droplets from the night side to the day side, where they finally rain out completely. But the freakish storms are also likely to play a central role in transporting the shattered water molecules. Although detailed study of WASP-121b has already uncovered some riveting insights, exploration of the exoplanet is far from complete. Experts now hope that future use of the James Webb Space Telescope will help them learn even more about the gas envelope and weather phenomena of the blazing hot celestial body. The specialized advancements of the James Webb are expected to take the fascinating planet in their sights during the first year of operation. We're already looking forward to the discoveries that the James Webb Space Telescope will reveal in the future. Now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the experts' exciting discovery? which points to a previously undetected class of neutron stars. Did you know how extreme the weather conditions are on hot Jupiters? Drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you interested in more posts about the most exciting finds in the universe? Then take a look at the other videos of our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.